welcome back, back to, to our, our channel. channel. We are back with, with another, another video. video. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And please don't forget to, to share, share with, with anyone and everyone you believe will love our content. content. Oh boy. So let's quickly show them. Okay. So today, guys, we've we got get. two different things today, guys. Ooh. Let's get as close as we can so you can see it. As you can see, guys, we've got our brand new camera yeah. again. We're trying getting to better, think. getting better. We're trying to think. So basically, what we've got here mm. is kofte and chicken. Yes, kofte and salad. Yes. And, and like a grilled fried salad as yeah. well, like vegetables. Yes. So, very nice. Today well we, done. We went a bit of a Mediterranean side, you know what I mean? These, look. Kofte is a knife, but the way Aldo does, he just put it with a little twist. Today I had like, a twist. Yeah, I had so one. Basically, it was today, awesome. like these three big ones here, like these three big ones there, they go like a uh, mozzarella cheese it's inside. It's got mozzarella in it. And I've Ooh. got um, extra, extra hot. hot Caribbean hot sauce. Mm, 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 mm. And uh, we have, this is like a peach juice. Yes. Peach. Do you want to try some hot sauce? No, I'm alright, thank you. Okay, not good. Not everything goes with hot sauce, isn't it? Yes, it does. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Which are both vegetables? Which are both vegetables? Mmm. Say it again. Are you having both vegetables? Yeah. What's this called again? Aubergine. Aubergine, that's it. So good. When we did our last live, well, I was there, Aldo was working. Mm -hmm. I asked people if they were, if I uploaded my music video, would they want to watch? And the majority said yes. Mm -hmm. Comment down below um, if you agree. I'm going to start uploading quite a few musical things, whatever. I agree. Do you agree? Yeah. Okay. So. I will definitely do that. Food's banging. Mmm. I'm telling you, I should have my own restaurant. It's good. I heard um, restaurants are really hard to maintain though. If you've got the right people, it's not. No, but even when you do, I heard it's really hard. Like, I've been watching a few um, things. Hard in what way? I don't know. I think it's, it doesn't matter how good the team is, it's still quite difficult. I don't know why though. Yeah, because the food has to be fresh as well. The food has to be banging. Um, I think... Yeah, for example, yeah? Mm -hmm. That's true, the food has Me to be... Me and you have gone to certain places, yeah? When mm -hmm. the food has been, like, wicked. Yes, nice. yeah. And we go back there again. Because the food is nice. Yeah. There you go. So it's a repeat custom. If you got good food, good customer service, you think people come back? People come back. It's to be a reasonable prices as well. Mm. Like some Russians go on greedy, you know, like they want to make two hundred percent of profit. Do you understand? Like That's as long as prices as, as long as prices are reasonable. That's a bit much. The food is fresh. Oops. When you make the customer feel welcome. But don't you think it's based on location though? Like you see like this area sorry, I feel a bit uncomfortable. You see like areas here? where um it's quite expensive and they haven't got no choice so that they have to like charge a price i mean it depends it depends where your restaurant is located because obviously if it's restaurant located in the central you, you, have to, you have to really charge central prices because obviously exactly. the rent is different compared to certain areas yeah but i'm not talking about essential i'm talking about somewhere yeah but even local Local areas are charging an arm and a leg. 
And this is when you come in and come with better prices. Mm. As long as you're turning a profit. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, like, until you know. So we're talking proper business, innit? it? <laughs> no, innit? But I was just saying, like, until you know, personally, that you know all the numbers of everything, like the calculation of everything, mm -hmm. that will tell you how much you should sell your food for. Yeah. To break even, usually companies will do 60%. And then the rest of the 40 is um, profit. Mm -hmm. Like it's got to do with food. Location as well. I'm not saying location is nothing to do with it. But then again, like when people try your food and your food is banging and they're coming again and again, it's, and the quality gets even better. Yeah. It doesn't go down, it just goes up. Yeah. People are going to talk. So when people talk, people will come, they get curious, they want to try it. So when they try it and the food is the quality, like people are expressing, of course they're coming back. I don't think that you have to have a, a, a twist to whatever you do. Always comes up come up with a twist. No, but I mean like, like you know there's this, um, how can I explain it? Like, you have to have a niche to your, to anything, can it? Mm -hmm. There has to be some sort of niche, like it can't be what everyone else is doing. I don't remember where... When I mean by niche, like there was this, um, I think they like it's like a family thing, and like they had um, chicken, but in the chicken it was stuffed with macaroni cheese, or it was stuffed with something, but you couldn't tell it was stuffed until you bit into it. Okay. Never and done. have you no, it's never seen it? No. That's their niche, and what happened was it was like on those sort of um, motor. Mm -hmm. What I was saying, I don't know what they're called, but like yeah. these motor thing. And basically, based on that, they went, people filmed it, and then it went on to, like, Steve Harvey. I think it was on Steve Harvey or something mm -hmm. like that. And it did really, really well. Yeah. You know, if you want to start something up, it's always good to start small. Yeah. yeah definitely. And that's less pressure. Way less pressure. It's so nice. I'm very happy that I had this. I had yeah. a little bit of that earlier and I had like that free. It was good, man. But I wanted this. Then she went back to the chicken. Because mm -hmm. it takes longer to digest as well. Well, it take longer to digest earlier, on, did it? <laughs> That's why I was like, I need to stop. It tastes like a burger, just in a bit different. A different way. And it's got different seasonings. This is good. I don't know, this was in my brain. Yeah. Would you like another one? Mm -mm. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Please tell me someone, I mean, certain cultures don't do it. But I know mine does. Something Not like everybody mine. does yours. Yeah. I know, I see you. Oh, I hear is like the bone crack. Yep. <laughs> and Teeth the, hard. I'm gonna suck it. <laughs> okay, that's a bit far. That's it. That's my baby now. Listen, oh he's right. Gosh. He's got every right. He's got every right. There's a bone of that binoculars. You can do it. No, my God, don't make me choke. <coughs> he said binoculars, you know. I can't cope. I cannot cope. I swear. Well, He's right. I saw, oh my God, I remember this girl, yeah. And her dad, I think she cooked oxtail. And um, the dad bit through the oxtail bone. Yeah. He bit. And I was just staring at him, my mouth open like, oh, so, oh my God, your teeth. His teeth did not, you know, like, well, I'm still baffled up to this day. Oh, that bone got boiled or cooked so good. They like got softer. Uh -uh. Oh, his teeth are like crocodile teeth. Was, boy. Listen, those bones weren't soft because I had some. And there was no way 
There was no way. You're begging into that. No. All my teeth would have fallen out. I'm actually thinking to do something like a one day like a lamb stew or something like that. Mm. Mm. Or some vegetables inside and potatoes and carrots. Mm. Mm. And you have the lamb, you know, when the lamb is kind of, it's kind of cooked, that kind of fried a little bit, yeah. And then when you put in a pressure cooker to boil with the with a stew, oh my gosh, and it gets so tender. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Guys, thank you so much. I'm full up. I can't eat no more right now. Grazie. Oh, niente bella. Oh my god. Mio Dio. <laughs> thank you guys and thank you for all the support that you have shown us, all the love and mm -hmm. all the lovely messages. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we'll be keeping it up and bringing you different things all the time definitely so until the, the next, next time oh my god <laughs> don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching